Really, uh, really proud of the defense uh, throwing a shutout in the second half. I thought that was uh, really good. They, I thought they swarmed with the ball uh, offensively, being able to rush for 400 yards and coming out in the second half uh, and having a really good third quarter, as we talked about in the locker room. Really, really pleased with that. Just want to keep building on this. Um, I think there's a lot of stuff we got we have to get better at, but uh, just moving forward, just continuing to build and get better. Uh, you know, right at the halfway point in the season, just trying to figure out ways to get better and, and to build on this win moving forward. Questions? Let's go bring the microphone to you. Who wants to start us off? Matt, there were a couple times tonight out there that you had an all true freshman backfield. Just talk about John Rice Plumley, Jerry Ideally, Snoop Connor. They all showed up. Uh, yeah, I mean, early in the first quarter, um, you know, John Rice, you know, made, made some plays with his feet and, you know, got, got 10 early points. Uh, then we kind of kind of stalled out in the second in the second quarter, but it was really good to see Jerry break a long one, then Snoop break a long one, and then you know John Rice being able to hurt people with his feet. It's just a uh, and then you saw Scotty in there breaking another touchdown. So you have the, the kind of old head that's that's back there, and he was fresh in the fourth quarter. So I just uh, really proud of those guys because they continue to get better and better, and the stage didn't look too big for them. Tonight. Matt, what did you see this week to kind of go with John all in on John Rice at quarterback? Uh, you know, just um, we, we thought he worked well. Matt is, still wasn't 100% healthy to be able to run the football. I think he could throw it if we needed him to. So hopefully he'll continue to get better and better, and we'll be able to use him. So, you know, people have to prepare for both. Questions? What was the change in the defense in your mind? Just better execution or? You know what? They just, um, they just they played well. Uh, they played, uh, to me, it looked like they had the energy, and I was just want to. Um, I should have done it in my opening, but just to thank the crowd, the students showed up, and I think we played with energy, and I think the crowd had a big, a big hand in that. I thought the atmosphere was great. The students were there early, and it, it made a big difference. So on those third downs, we were getting off the field. It was they had some noise, and they had trouble checking, and it, it was a true home field advantage tonight. That, that was a big deal for. Coach, just kind of just building off that, you know, this week going, you know, holding Randy to two, two for 17 on third downs, you know, compared to last week. And just, was that a big point of emphasis really to the team this week? Yeah, yeah I mean, that was, that was the number one point of emphasis on defense was trying to get off the field. Uh, a number of big plays against Alabama, especially in that second quarter, happened on third down. So we spent a lot of time on that. Uh, credit Coach McIntyre and his staff, they were well prepared. The players executed the scheme, and I thought they did an outstanding job getting off the field on third. Coach, can you talk about uh, this Lakia Henry's performance tonight? Yeah, Lakia, I tell you what, he's uh, he's starting to become more and more of a leader. He's starting to, um, you know, grow into that leadership role, being that linebacker, making the checks and the calls. Uh, he made several big plays tonight uh, in the run game, but also some stuff is not going to show up in the underneath uh, passing game where he was running with some some tight ends down the field. I, th I thought he played really well tonight. So, Coach. Um Talk a lot about you know John Rice's you know performance on the ground. Talk talk a little bit about you know how how you felt he did through the air. Tonight. Yeah, you know I think we have to continue to improve on that and some take advantage of some one on ones. You saw that a big play uh, to Jaden Jackson in the fourth quarter and take advantage of those one on ones. And I think well he'll continue to improve. You know again we're not a finished product by any stretch. We have a lot to get better at, but we'll only you know continue to get better as they go, but I think as much as we're running the ball to be able to take advantage of some one-on-one -on -one shots with our wide outs, we have some guys that are capable of winning some one-on-ones. I think we're going to need to do that moving forward. Coach, a lot of talk about the freshmen on the offense. You guys started two true freshman DBs as well. What have you seen from those guys on the stand like the Prince over the course of the last Yeah, they, they just, you know, we tell those guys to be ready when their time comes, and they stepped in there and they made some plays. Again, uh, there's a lot of youth and there's some mistakes out there. But you see them flying around and, and making plays. You see the speed that they play with. Uh, Jay is a physical player. He's not scared to come down and tackle. So just really, really pleased. And again, they will continue to get better. Right side. Go ahead. Coach, uh, last year at the midpoint, you guys were four and two. And this year, you're three and three. Um, you know, last year kind of faded down the stretch. Do you feel like this team is better built for the second half of the season to kind of uh, finish strong? Yeah, I'm, I don't want to focus on last year. I want to focus on this team getting better next week. And 
and uh, I think we are continuing to get better each week, and, I, and we have to continue to do that. We have to come back to work tomorrow, watch the tape, let's, let's fix what we need to fix, and let's build on the positives, and let's move forward and try to get better, because we got a huge challenge going on the road to Missouri. As you talk about moving forward, what can a, a convincing conference win like this do for your team in terms of confidence moving forward? Well, I, you know, I think um, it just, uh, I, I'm happy because they're getting some, uh, they're, they're happy in the locker room and to stand in front of a happy locker room after all the work they put in, they keep fighting and scratching and clawing. It's good to get some of, uh, to get that the, the feeling and the confidence going. And I think uh, it, it gives them some reassurance, hey, we're moving forward, we're getting better. Let's just, let's keep putting the work in and we're going to continue to get better than before. I will take questions up top. Any questions up there? All right. We get the middle, get a mic in the middle here. Matt, today we saw a lot of rotation on the offensive line, particularly Ben Brown in center. He spelled Eli a little bit. Early on, it seemed like that Vanderbilt got more pressure on the quarterback. Later half of the, of the game, it appeared that they had him pretty wore down. What went into that process, and when did you decide to start rolling some people in and out? Yeah, we want to try to keep guys fresh. You know, we played Nick Broker. Um, we kind of have a three-man rotation there, a tackle with him, Mike Howard and Alex. We're trying to continue to work Jalen Cunningham in there more. So that is really good to see him in there. And then obviously trying to rest Eli Slum by moving Ben around and moving Royce over to right guard. So I think the more you can stay fresh, the better off you're going to be. Are any more questions for Coach? All right, thank you, Coach. We have players.